All right, guys. Um, welcome back to Chinese online e-learning. And in this week, uh, we're about to going to have the lesson two. And hopefully, you guys can understand uh, what we have learned in lesson one. And, and in lesson two, we're gonna we're trying to finish the the full texts today. And hopefully, it goes well. And uh, if you have questions on lesson one, I will upload the the homework page and also the uh, the workbook page on uh, Moodle, also the 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 audios and uh, and also today's lessons audio and the textbook, so you guys can listen to the audio, uh, time after time, and so you can practice and uh, try to speak. Okay, all right, so. Um, lesson two. 他什么时候回来? Okay. So first, let's do the warm up. 热身. They have six pictures. I will give you one minute. Then you can go through the pictures and try to figure out the meaning of these sentences of these words. Sorry. Alrighty, let's look at the first one. San. San, uh, it looks kind of like a tray, right? On the top of the tray. Actually, this is the umbrella. San. Because look at this, the structure, this is the, the, the structure of the, the, uh, the, the umbrella. And this is the, the top cover, coverings of the umbrella. So this is San. San. Because normally we use it for, you know, to, to prevent rain pouring on, pour, pouring on us. So we also call it yu san. Yu is the xia yu, that yu. Uh, or if you're using it, this is very common. Chinese people don't like to get dark by the sun. They don't want to get sunburned. So many, many ladies will uh, hold up a... A, a, a umbrella to prevent the sunshine, which called Tai Yang. Tai Yang means the sun. Tai Yang San. So, say so Chinese is very simple that you can compose uh, a basic word with the other uh, function to make a new one. Alright, uh, second one, Jing Li. Jing Li. Jing Li means manager. This is a man. So the answer is C. All right, number four, uh, number three, sorry. 办公室, 办公室. 办公室 literally means, 办公 is, uh, 办, uh, it's work. Uh, 办 means do something, uh, put your hands on something, to work, work with something. 公 means public. So work public things, which is doing your business. Doing your work. Shi is room. So ban gong shi is office. And the answer is D. And the other similar words we have, which is jiao shi. Right? For example, wo men zai jiao shi shang ke. So we're in the classroom having a lesson. Number four, jiao. Jiao. This one means foot, fit. It doesn't. We don't have pl plural uh, form of fit, and so foot and fit are the same thing in Chinese. So jiao, jiao. If you pay attention to the left part of this, which is like this is the moon radical. The moon radical always has something to do with your body body parts. For example, jiao. Later we will say tui. Right? So you will see this radical quite often. If you will learn where well, you have already learned arm, and arm will have this radical as well, moon radical for body parts. So the answer is A. And then number five, low, low. And this one means building, building, like especially the tall building. 
tall building. Um, uh, you know, uh, buildings up higher than two levels, two levels, two floors. We call we already started to call them low, low, or sometimes we call them low fang. Fang means house. Low fang. If uh, because Chinese people normally we have a large population, right? Normally Chinese people will live in a building like this, like showing in the picture. But picture is you know way higher. Uh, the building in the picture is way higher, so it's kind of like this is the office building. And in China, the people will ask you, 你住几号楼? Which number of the building you're living in? 你住几号楼? So which number you're living in. And the low is very, very common. If you go to China, then basically uh, residence is all low or low fang. So number six, shu. Shu. So there's only last option of that, which is B. Okay. So shu is say the left part, which is the wood radical, this part. Also low share the same one because low was made by wood in the ancient time. Now it's made by concrete. But in, in the past it's not it's different. So so this is the tray. Shu shu. Let's read them all over all over again. 伞伞经理经理办公室办公室脚脚楼楼树树 All right, this is the part one. Now let's look at part two. Talk about what you're going to do after you finish doing each thing in column uh, V1. The example, the example, uh, he gave us this. So you can say, 我起床后, 吃早饭。我起完床,吃早饭。嗯, so the, the, in column one, it gave some, um, one, two, three, four, five, 五个 different activity. So you can make up the second, uh, verb two, activity two, to finish the sentence. I can give my example. And you can do your own after I give my example. I will pause after each sentences. Okay, 第一个,吃饭。饭老师吃饭后写作业. Mm, so I finish my uh, breakfast, then I start it. No, no, it doesn't have to be breakfast, it can be dinner. 吃饭 just means eat a meal. It didn't specifically address on what kind of meal. Or you can say 吃午饭, eat lunch. And 吃晚饭, eat dinner. So my sentence was 我吃完饭后写作业 um, 我写法语作业 I have French homework. 第二个写作业饭老师写作业后听音乐 uh, after I finished my homework, I started to listen music. 写作业后听音乐 Number three, uh, verb one, 下课, after class. Uh, 我下课后回家 or, 我下课后回办公室 That's normally my routine. Back to my office, or that's the that's the new word, right? 办公室. It's right here. If you can see, it's here. 办公室. And then I can say, 我下课后回办公室. Alright. Um, uh, number four. 第四个. 运动. Um, or I can say, finish exercising. 我运动完 
uh, my tai. After I finish my workout, I normally go to the supermarket and buy some vegetables. 我运动完 where you can you can put another verb. 我运动完 first I finish my workout. 去超市 go to the supermarket, 买菜 buy the vegetables. All right, one more time. 我运动完去超市买菜 You can put three in there. Okay. Uh, last one. 回家。嗯，我回家后听音乐。我回家后做饭。我回家后洗澡。Take shower. So you can make your own, and it's your turn now. You have one minute to uh think and finish. All right. So if the time is not enough for you, and you can just you know pause and finish this part, based on your own learning speed. And then after this part, we can finish. We can jump to the、um, text one. On the way going down the mountain, 下山的路上 All right. So let's listen to the text, uh, twice. Also, the new words. After that, we'll start to explain word by word. 第二课，他什么时候回来 ？Lesson two. When will he come back? 课文一，下山的路上。Text one. On the way going down the mountain. 休息一下吧。怎么了？我现在腿也疼，脚也疼。好，那边树多，我们过去坐一下吧。上来的时候，我怎么没觉得这么累？上山容易，下山难，你不知道。生词。New words. 腿。疼，脚，树，容易，难。All right, uh, let's listen to it one more time. 第二课，他什么时候回来 ？Lesson two, when will he come back? 课文一，下山的路上。Text one, on the way going down the mountain. 休息一下吧。怎么了？我现在腿也疼，脚也疼。好，那边树多，我们过去坐一下吧。上来的时候，我怎么没觉得这么累？上山容易，下山难，你不知道。生词。New words. 腿，疼，脚，树，容易，难。So look at the first one. First, the new words, 腿，腿 ，leg. So let me show you guys a picture. 好 ，so、uh, we don't have plural. Form for legs, even though they're a pair. In English, it's like lamps, shanks, you know. But in Chinese, it's just tui. All right. If it's left leg, if it's a left leg, then we call them 左腿，左腿 And the right leg will be 右腿，右腿 And then if it's thigh, this part 
if it's thigh, we call them 大腿 because it's bigger. 大大 is the, the you know uh, big means big, and then shanks we call them 小腿小腿 Okay, so this is 腿 All right, the next one, um, <clears throat> second one, 疼疼疼 means painful.、Mm, it's a、uh, adjective. You usually、uh, don't use it in front of the 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 verb,、uh, in front of the 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 noun. And for example, if you headache, and just like English habit, you will put a tong after the body parts you have. For example, I have a headache, then you just say, 头疼 my leg hurts, 腿疼 alright, and the um. My stomach hurts. I have stomachache, and you say 胃疼 If your hands hurt, 手疼 That's if you, if you um, if you painful, you can just say that. Or in our Chinese, if you uh, for example, somebody uh pinch you really quick, ah, you can say ah, 疼疼疼 Alright, you can also use that in that way. <clears throat> 好，第三个，脚 foot. Same as 腿 no plural no plural form, and left foot will be 脚左脚 right foot will be 右脚 Number four, 第四个树树 We always say 大树小树 Okay, big trees, small trees, 大树小树 And the measure word for true for 树 is 棵棵 Uh, number five, 容易，容易，汉语容易吗？汉语不容易。Or, or I can say 法语容易吗？法语不容易。Or my opinion, 我觉得，我觉得法语不容易。Or 我觉得汉语太容易了。Okay, so just a adjective for easy. Number six, 第六个难。Difficult, difficult, 难。哎呀，这道题 ，this question， 太难了 ，too hard, too difficult. Okay, 难 ，not easy to do something. 不容易，难 equals 不容易。So there are upside meanings. Alright, now let's look at the 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 text. And if you are, uh, you know, if you have problems with just reading the characters. And the pinyin script is on page thirteen, 十三页，十三页 You can find all the pinyin for the four texts. 小丽 says, 休息一下吧 Okay, but use for suggestion. Okay, 休息 means rest 一下 short period of time. Or you can say, 休息一会儿吧休息一会儿吧休息一下吧 So, um. It feels like 一下 and 一会儿 the both sh- both short period of time, but if you say 一下 uh, it feels like sh- the on the time period will be shorter than 一会儿一会儿 kind of like means one moment, and 一下 kind of like oh just one second, one minute. Okay. Uh, 小刚小刚说怎么了怎么了 asking about the situation. What happened? 怎么了 Xiao Li says, "I now my leg is pain, and my foot is pain." So now, uh, now means now, right? As a time adverb, you can put it in the either in front of the whole sentence, in front of the subject, or you can put it behind the subject. <coughs> so now, I foot, yeah, also. 疼 hurt. So my leg is hurt and my foot is hurt. Okay, my leg hurts, my foot hurts. Uh, 腿腿也疼，脚也疼 Or you can just say 腿疼，脚也疼 Or we learned 右右 So you can say, 嗯，腿疼，腿又疼，脚又疼。啊 ，both the same meaning. 我现在腿也疼，脚也疼 Then 小刚 says, 好 Okay, 那边树多 over there. 那边 remember you can say 那 means there, 
边 means side, where you can say 那面 right? But normally we say that side, 那边 is more frequent than 那面 So 那边树多 There's a lot of trees there. 那边树多我们过去坐一下吧 So let's go there and have a sit. Sit for for a while. Sit for a moment. Let's go over there. Sit for a moment. And then Xiao Li says, 上来的时候 which she refers to, up come up when we come up. 我怎么没觉得这么累？我 I 怎么 How come 没觉得 Didn't feel didn't feel 这么累 This tiring. So when 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 we come up, how come I didn't feel this tiring? So, uh, you know, because the conversation happened on the way going down the mountain, so Xiao Li complains, oh, so how how come I didn't feel this tiring when we come up the hill, come up the mountain? And then Xiao Gang says, 上山容易，下山难。上山容易，下山难。It's a you know a a Chinese saying. Uh, it has. Multiple meanings. Uh, uh, literal meaning can be used in this situation. It literally refers to climbing the mountain. 上山容易 because climbing up it's easier than going down. Because when you going down, the the gravity will make the make make it difficult, and also your muscle has been already tearing. Uh, already tired for climbing up, so uh, there's more. It's more dangerous for you to go down the hill than up the up the hill. Also, it has an abstract meaning. Refers to, um, 上山容易 refers to when you have a good life, and you think everything's easy. When you have money, you enjoy the uh like uh enjoy the luxury life. 下山难 means when your situation goes down, where your condition is no more as better as before. So now this is the time you feel tough, okay? Where oh you,、uh, you feel rough, sorry, you feel rough. So it's easy stay in a luxury surroundings than, uh, easier than, uh, than struggling in the, in the difficulties. Okay, so it has two different meanings. In in this situation, it just refers to, 上呃、uh, climbing the mountain. Okay, alrighty. Okay, <clears throat> so if you pay attention, and you will say a couple of words like this: 过去，过去 go over, 上来。上来 so this is about a new, um, grammar point that we're gonna explain. The simple complement of direction. So we have one is 来 another one, one is 来 another one is 去去 So 来 means when the action happened, the direction of the action is towards the speaker. If you are the speaker, and this,、uh, that means the action、uh, is towards you. And two means the activity, uh, uh, action direct, uh, direction is away from the speaker. And if you are the speaker, and means away from you. So, in formula, it will look like this: verb plus 来 or 去 indicates the action direction. Let's see a couple of minute、uh, examples. First one, first one. This. 我们在楼上等你，你快上来吧。So it used 上来 in this sentence, because based on this, uh, 我们在楼上 means the speakers located upstairs. So when they talk to the people, the people must be downstairs, and Uh, their way, you 上 then is the verb. Then you have to say come up, 上来上来 All right. Second sentence, <clears throat> 谁在外边谁在外边 Who is outside? 你出去看看吧 
So guess the who is going uh going outside the speaker or the speaker's friend in the room or the people outside of the room. So if you got it right, it's supposed to be the the speaker's friend. Uh, this speaker's friend is stay in the same room with the speaker. So the they both said notice that there's somebody outside, and one is asking another to go outside and have a look. So 你 in this sentence, 你 is in the room. Okay. Alright, the number three, 第三个，汉语书你带来了吗？嗯 ，Did you bring it here? Did you bring towards to this location? Maybe it's classroom. Or maybe it's a、uh, you know meetup. So 你带来了吗 Which indicate the direction of 带 this action. Okay, 带来 If if um、uh, it's going away, for example, um take this book to another person, and I have to say 带带去这本书 Okay, 带去这本书 Take it away. All right. Now let's say some. Examples. For example, the first one, seven A. So if the boy is downstairs, if they are the speakers, and the girl is going down, so we're supposed to say, 男孩们在楼下，楼下 downstairs. 女孩下来了 Or you can give them a name. So, hmm. Louis and、um, Clément. Louis and Clément were downstairs. So here comes、um, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie 下来了 Uh, the other people 在楼下 All right, then seven B. This one. So the boys on the on the uh upstairs, upstairs. No, on the upstairs, the girl is going up. And it's towards the speakers. If the boys are the speakers, so 男孩们在楼上，女孩上来了。So boys upstairs, the girl coming up. Okay, then on、um, pictures eight、uh, eight A and eight B, they're carrying something. We learned the carrying, lifting up. The the verb which is ban, ban. So in picture one, this picture, oh, it has a very vague classroom characters on the tag. If you didn't see it, that's okay. So they're moving, <clears throat> they're moving something. Maybe oh, I think it's a computer or desk. So they're moving the computer into the classroom, into the classroom. So we're gonna say ban jin qu because when we saw them. They're away from us. Okay, they work walking away from us. They're they were uh, uh therefore we say it's 搬进去 And if this person is work walking, or the action is towards us, because we're the speaker, so we're we're saying this person um take the computer 搬出来 take it out 搬出来 Okay. Now I have two pictures to show you guys to say if you can、uh, give the correct、uh, order to the puppy to the dog. Okay, so the first picture. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I know you're laughing.、Uh, the first picture is dog staying outside, staring at you. So at this moment, what are you supposed to say? What kind of order do you give it? Do you give him or her? I don't know. It's a female dog or male dog. Okay, think about it. And the second picture, obviously, the dog is stealing food or acting up in the kitchen, so he got thrown out by the owner or by the guy. So, what should you say to the dog at this moment? What kind of order should you give at this moment? Okay, the first one. So you're supposed to see the dog, come in, which is, 进来，进来 because the dog will work towards you, 
than in this picture. And because you're throwing the dog out, and you're supposed to say, 出去. All right, this is a pair. 进来, 出去. That based on your location, you're not moving. But if you're you're uh, outside of the kitchen uh, for picture two, if you're outside of the uh, kitchen, you're asking the dog, you're supposed to say, come out, 出来, 出来. And let's move on. So there are actually seven words we can use lie and chu after them to show the the complements of direction. And these seven characters, if you can remember, they are shang, xia, jin, chu, hui, guo, qi. You know, when we teach you guys, we, we also remember this. Oh, 上下进出回过期, 上下进出回过期, seven, seven different words that you can use, lie and chu. Uh, for example, 上来, coming up, 下来, come, come down, okay? 进来, come in, 出来, get out, 回来, uh, come back, 过来, come over here, 起来, get up. All right, then, 去, um, 上去, go up, 下去, go down, 进去, get in, 出去, get out, 回去, go back. So one is, 回来 is come back, 回去 is go back. 过来, come over, 过去, go over. There's no 起去, this word. It completely doesn't exist. The reason why, and I can show you a picture, if you can repeat this with me, I'll give you the explanation. Okay, let's do it together. 上来, 下来, 进来, 出来, 回来, 过来, 起来, 上去, 下去, 进去, 出去, 回去, 过去, nothing, okay? How about I speak um, English? 我说英语, you speak Chinese. 你说汉语, how? Come up, go up, come down, go down, come in. Get in. Get out. Go out. Come back. Go back. Come over. Go over. Get up. Okay. The reason there is no qi qu is because... Oops. Look at this picture. What does the dog say to the owner? Probably get up, right? 起来. So when you do 起, 起, this word already means rising, up, going up. So if the person or the speaker is tall and 起, this direction is already towards him or her, or her. Okay, already towards the speaker. So 起来, it's the same direction. But if you say 起去, that'll be confusing. Which direction are we going? 起 is supposed to be rising, and 起去 means what? If you say uh, started from here, then go away, it won't call 起. You can just say 上去, that already cover the meaning. So there's no 起去 because 起 is already an action towards you okay so so the dog is saying to the dog uh, to the person which is 起来, 起来, get up okay let's see if we can put more uh, elements in this sentence or this structure so <clears throat> if the object object is a place it should be in front of lai or qi it looks Weird. So let's see the formula. Verb plus place plus lai or chu. So you can say instead of saying it, 小狗上去了, 
上 where 上哪儿上哪儿 You gotta give a location. So if you have to put a location in there, you're gonna put it between 上 and 去 Okay. So 小狗上楼去了上楼 shows the direction and the location and the, the shows、uh, sorry so shows the action and location and then direction. Okay. 上楼去了上楼去了 All right. Then instead of saying 老师进来了进 where 哪儿进哪儿 gonna say 老师进教室来了嗯 okay so instead of saying 我朋友回去了回哪儿回 go go back where 回 go where back that's in Chinese grammar order 回家去了回家去了 let's read repeat these three sentences one more time to get used to them. 小狗上楼去了。老师进教室来了。我朋友回家去了。Okay, so let's make this more complicated. So if the object is an object, that's basically no sense. So if there is object, it can be in front of, in front, or after 来 or 去。So I don't like doing the description because you, when you just say it, it doesn't make any sense. You have to put it in the formula or in the sentence to make sense. Okay, so verb plus uh verb plus object plus lie or two equals. Sorry for the order. Equals verb plus lie or two plus the object. Okay, so 我带钱来了。It's the same. 我带来钱了，我带来钱了。呃、uh, ，they're the same thing. You you can say either say 我带钱来了 ，or 我带来钱了。Both correct. Second one, 明天要带作业去。I think I made a mistake. Wait a minute. Let me fix this. Apologize for the mistake. Okay, here's the new examples.、Um, start over. 我带钱来了。呃、uh, ，equals 我带来钱了。It doesn't matter where you put the 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 object because the object is a thing. You can put it either in excuse me either in front of line or after line. All right, second one. 请买来一点水。It's the same thing with 请买一点水来。Or you can use 去 as well. 呃，搬来一张桌子 ，and it's the same with 搬一张桌子来。It's the exactly same thing. So you may ask if you want if there's a a a thing also a location, which one you can use? Uh, if in that case you can only put the location after 来 after 来。Uh, for example, the second one, 请买一点水，来来 where 来教室 ，OK， 买一点水来教室 ，put it at the end. 搬一张桌子来办公室 ，the office. 搬一张桌子来办公室 ，you cannot say 搬来一张桌子办公室 because There's nothing to link 桌子 and 办公室 So when you put these two nouns, there's no connection between them. So what does that mean? Okay, you you must need something. It's kind of like a glue. You may need something to glue the the two objects together. Either it's location or a thing. Okay, so 搬一张桌子来教室，买一点水去去办公室 Both correct. Alrighty. So let's go back to the <clears throat> sentences,、uh, text one, and we can listen to it one more time. Okay, let's do it. 第二课，他什么时候回来 ？Lesson two, when will he come back? 课文一，下山的路上。Text one, on the way going down the mountain. 休息一下吧。怎么了
，我现在腿也疼，脚也疼。好，那边树多，我们过去坐一下吧。上来的时候，我怎么没觉得这么累？上山容易下山难，你不知道。Okay, this is this. Um, the last time we hear this um text, and we'll upload the um audio file, so you can download and listen and practice by yourself. Okay. Okay. Before we move on to text two, let's do some exercise. Make sure that you master the complements of direction. The dog make me want to laugh. Okay, where is it? Okay, here. Practice. Yeah, yeah. First sentence. 你怎么还没什么什么？我都在楼下等你半小时了，我半个小时了。你怎么还没 ？So the speaker is downstairs because it shows in the last sentence, which is 我在楼下等你。Okay, so the answer is supposed to be 下来，下来。So the answer to this question is 下来。你怎么还没下来？<咳>我都在楼下等你半小时了。So how come you haven't come down yet? All right, I'm already downstairs waiting for you. Half an hour. Okay. 第二个，已经早上十点半了，快点什么什么，别睡了。It's already 早上十点半了。In the morning, ten thirty, 十点半了。快点什么，别睡了。Stop sleeping. So that's wake up, and there's only one word for wake up, which is 起来 get up, get up, 快点起来，别睡了。All right, number three. 明天去朋友家，我想什么一些水果。So before you do this, consider about where the where is the speaker now. She or he says. Tomorrow going to friends' house. Going to you see pay pay attention to this one to. So now which means today now I'm still in my own house. So if I want to use the verb which is bring. I want to bring over <coughs> some fruits. Will be 带去 correct. Good job. Then we'll start it to move to <coughs> text two, uh, 课文二 And as same, we'll still say,、um, listen to the text for two times, also the new words, and then we'll explain from sentence to sentence. Let's go. 课文二，在打电话。Text two, on the phone. 喂，你好，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？什么时候回来？他出去办事了，下午回来。回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。生词 ，new words。太太，秘书，经理，办公室。专有名词 ，proper nouns。周，周明。Okay, one more time。课文二。在打电话。Text two, on the phone. 喂，你好，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？
，什么时候回来？他出去办事了，下午回来。回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。生词 ，new words。太太，秘书。经理，办公室，专有名词 ，proper nouns， 周，周明。Okay, all right. Let's look at the new words first. 嗯、呃，第七个，太太，太太。嗯、呃、，it means literally means Mrs. Some some plus a surname, and you're gonna put surname in 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 the beginning. If it's Zhang, it's sur his or her surname is Zhang, and you're gonna say Zhang 太太，王太太。But 太太，嗯嗯 ，in my experience， 太太 is not very Uh, frequently used, especially in the in the north, maybe in Shanghai or in the city southern, south, uh, it, more southern than Shanghai, will use this um term, 太太 But in in the north, we just call them, um, if it's you know at your own age, you would just say, um, uh, call them 小姐。张小姐，呃，呃，我女士，女士，我、we'll、call sometimes we、we'll、call them 女士 ，if we trying to be polite， and and 太太，嗯、um, ，has a meaning which means in ancient time， and this 太太 is has is a、uh, is the wife to somebody who is rich and also have certain social status。So it only like the servants call, call their owner or their master 太太 you know.、Um, so this is kind of old this word and not very frequently used in the, in the north. I'm not quite sure in the south if they're still using it.、Um, it's not very common in north. Okay, so 太太 All right, number eight, 第八个秘书秘书秘书 six. Secretary, so you don't. If you don't want to remember that, that's that's fine. It's, uh, 太太 and 秘书 are both、uh, required in HSK three vocabulary. So number nine, you're supposed to know this one. This one is 经理，经理 There's no other, um, uh, name for manager. Just 经理，经理 Okay. All right. The number ten, 办公室 Bangongshi, so classroom, 教室 painting room, 画室 okay, so 室 means room, and also you can say um, uh, living room, uh, no, no, bedroom, which is uh, 卧室 okay, so there were there's a certain so many 室 as the uh the last character to show one room. Okay, let's look at the 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 text. So Zhou 太太说，喂，你好，喂 is a, uh, kind of like hello in French, hello in English, 么西么西 in Japanese. So 喂，你好，请问周明在吗？嗯、mm, ，so you try to be polite. You have to use a 请问 This is very common. This is a common sense in China. 请问。呃、uh, ，Who is there? 在吗？嗯，请问周明在吗？请问周老师在吗？请问老板在吗 ？OK， 那秘书说，周经理出去了，出去了。It didn't indicate where, but it which means definitely not in the office or out of the building. But now, but he's not here. 出去了，不在办公室。周经理出去了，不在办公室。Not in the office. Then Zhou 太太 ask again, 他去哪儿了 ？Where did he go? 什么时候回来 ？When did he come back? 回来啊。Uh? So that that's another word, uh, com complement of direction. So 什么时候回来 
and uh, then the sec secretary 秘书说，他出去 do something 办事了，办事 do business do something 呃、uh, run errands。Okay, so you can say, "Ah, I'm today I'm going to do something. Today I have errands to run, and you know, uh, you can refer to you know, running to the bank, um, go get some paperwork in the government, uh, get your tax certificate, uh, you know, attend 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 exam, whatever it is. You you can all include it this, uh, business in 办事办事 Not specifically saying doing what. 他出去办事了，下午回来。嗯 ，All right. Then Joe 太太 says 回来了就让他给我打个电话。So this sentence has two structure. First, 回来了 one verb one one action right. Then 就让他 let him 给我打个电话 call me back. 给我打个电话 call me back. So let him call me back. This is two actions, and then Mishu says, "Mishu 说好的 okay, no problem. 好的，嗯、um, ，好的 is a a expression to just you know, um, okay, I understand in the matter of fact tone. Okay, it doesn't have like 好啊 If you say 好啊 that's pretty happy and delight. Uh, uh, 好的 just you know, matter of fact. I know it. I understand. I will deliver the information. I know what you told me. So if this is regularly used for, um, boss to, to secretary. Okay. 好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。Also, this is a um、uh, another successive occurrence of two actions. Uh, which is 到了办公室 action one. 我就告诉他告诉他 action two. All right, two actions linked together. So we'll explain more about this after we listen to this text one more time. Okay, let's go. 课文二，在打电话 Text two, on the phone. 喂。你好，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？什么时候回来？他出去办事了，下午回来。回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。生词 ，new words。太太，秘书，经理，办公室，专有名词 ，proper nouns， 周，周明。Okay, so let's say these two sentences. The successive occurrence of two actions. So the following formula, which is this one, uh, V E blah blah blah, 九 V R. The following formula can be used in used to indicate two actions which occur successively, uh, with the second immediately following the first. Uh, for example, it's hard to understand the English, but if we say the sentence, you can understand. First sentence. 我吃了饭就写作业，吃饭 ，eat meal， 写作业 doing homework。So right after I finished， 吃了了表呃、uh, ，to show that the the verb is complete。So after I finish my 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 dinner lunch work breakfast whatever， 就写作业 means I'm going to write my homework。So 就 means as soon as。As soon as so, as soon as I finish eating my meal, and I will go to write my homework. Okay, V E. Verb one, which is 吃 Verb two, which is 写 Okay, 吃了饭就写作业 
Then, do you remember in the in the beginning we asked you guys to do the warm up? What did you do eat each day? You know, after uh, having breakfast, and then what do you do next? So you can use use this to show the 写呃、uh, for example the first sentence to show the 呃写作业 this action is right after 吃饭 this thing this activity. Okay, all right. Second one, we are here. Second one, 妈妈起了床起床 get get out of、uh, get out of the bed get up. 妈妈起了床就做早饭。早饭 breakfast. So mom's getting up and make breakfast. 起了床就做早饭 Okay, and so uh, as soon as mama got up, and she will make the breakfast. Sometimes you don't have to, uh, sorry, I got a cold. Um, sometimes you don't have to complete or the verb don't have to be. Completed status, you can just say, 我拿上伞，拿上 take it with me. 我拿上伞就出去 Right as soon as I got the umbrella, I'm going outside. Okay, as soon as I'm I'm getting the the umbrella and then I go go out. Last one. 哥哥喝完茶 Normally, the first verb verb should be complete. Uh, com- completed、uh, status means the action is done. As soon as the action is done, and I'm going to do the next action. Okay, so that's why normally it will have le le, and the one to show this verb is finished is done. So 哥哥喝完茶就上楼去了。哥哥喝完茶就 go upstairs. Because Google, we're always Google here downstairs, and Google go upstairs, which is go away from us. So that's 上楼去了 And so, um, if there are two subjects in the sentences, we're talking about two people. So the second one should be put right before 就 right before 就 because 就 means as soon as right. So the structure turns to subject plus one, then subject two, 就 do the second ja, ja,、uh, action. Okay. Once the f- first people do this, and the second people will right after him or her to do another thing, do another activity or action. So let's see some examples. Oops, sorry. All right, so this one, uh, the first one, 你下了课，我们就吃饭。So as soon as you finished your class, 下了课，我们就吃饭。And we, right after this, we're going to eat. Okay. And the second sentence, 爸爸回来了。爸爸 subject one 回来了。Verb one, 我们 subject two 就 Verb 能出去玩，能出去玩。So normally the first、uh, people finish the one action, and then the second subject can do something else. It doesn't have to be 我们 It can be 弟弟 can be other people. For example, 爸爸回来了，弟弟就能出去玩。嗯、as soon as daddy comes back, and my younger brother can hang out. Third sentence. 老师进了教室。老师 ，subject one， 进了 ，verb one， 教室 ，object。我们 ，subject two， 就 ，verb， 呃，就呃 ，as soon as， 说 ，speak， 生日快乐 ，happy birthday。Once the teacher get， it, as soon as my teacher get into the classroom， we all we will say happy birthday。Okay， so because the turn is made by。Right, uh, uh, is because the first action finished, and then the the second action's subject is a different, different people, different with the first subject. Then in that case, we have to put 就 after them. 
Alright, so let's do some exercise before we move back to text two to you know listen to it one more time and also read after it. <clears throat> so question number one. Con uh complete complete the, the dialogue. A says 你什么时候给妈妈打电话? When are you gonna call the mom? Or when are you gonna call your mom? B says 我打算, 打算 means plan to do something. 我打算吃晚饭。So which is the verb one? I think 吃晚饭 will be verb one. Now let me type the answer here. 我打算 finish dinner. As soon as I finish dinner and I will start it to, you know, uh, uh, call mom. 好,我打算吃完。Finish, 晚饭, or 吃了晚饭, both correct, 就给, uh, verb 2, right? 妈妈打电话, okay, that's the sentence. Right. <coughs> Second, then that's definitely two activity, two actions. B says, 我太累了. Based on this conversation, B is too tired. So maybe he just right uh, after he arrived home, then he went to sleep. So you can change this sentence. 你怎么到了家? Okay, fin uh, action is fi first action finished. Condition is meet. So 到了家就睡觉. Okay, so how come you... Right, get home, and then you go sleep. Okay, then B says, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Alright, last one. A says, uh, 你什么时候走? And then B respond, 他来了, that's the first verb. And then subject will change to me because the question is asking me when to leave. Okay, so the answer could be 他来了 Then 我, second subject, plus 就, plus the verb. 他来了我就走 他来了我就走 Let's look at the three sentences one more time. 你什么时候给妈妈打电话? B says, 我打算吃了晚饭就给妈妈打电话。吃了晚饭. Alright, number two. A says, you, How come you just right arrived home, then you go to sleep? B says, 我太累了, I'm too tired. A asking, 你什么时候走? Then B says, 他来了,我就走。First condition meet as soon as he arrived. I am leaving. Okay, that's the um, the second grammar uh, point. And, and let's go back to the um, 课文二。回到课文二. Okay, let's listen to the radio uh, one more time, and I will pause sentence by sentence. Please. Mm, please uh, repeat after the the uh, the radio, and also I will ask some questions about refer to the text, and then please answer the questions by try to use the uh, structure we learned. Okay. Text two on the phone. 喂,你好,请问周明在吗? 周经理出去了,不在办公室。Okay, repeat. 他去哪儿了?什么时候回来? 他出去办事了,下午回来。Repeat. 
last last one. 回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。Okay, repeat. All right, my question is: Is Zhou Ming in the office? Zhou Ming 在办公室吗？ So, answer is here. Zhou Jingli. Okay. So, um, Zhou Tai Tai. His wife can call his name directly, but you know, uh, Mi Shu will normally just dress the by his tail. Zhou Jingli 出去了，不在办公室。So, what? Where did the Zhou Ming go? Where did the Zhou manager Zhou? Oops, sorry. Where did manager Zhou go? Here's the answer. He went out to work. All right. Third one. What did Zhou Tai Tai ask the secretary to do after Zhou Ming comes back? Okay. The answer is, 回来了就让他给谁给周太太打个电话。So what will me, what will the sec uh secretary do, uh once Zhou Jingli comes back to the office? Last sentence. What as soon as Zhou Jingli arrived at the office, and he will, she will. Sorry, I don't know if this is a, a, probably a girl. Uh, she will tell him. Okay, that's the second sentence. Let's listen to it one more time without. Looking at the pinyin, okay. 课文二，在打电话。Text two, on the phone. 喂，你好，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？什么时候回来？他出去办事了。下午回来，回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。是。Okay, so we'll stop here. For this is text two, and then we can <coughs> combine what we learned in the past two texts to apply to text three. Okay. Okay. As the old um habit, let's just listen to the text for two times. If you in this section, if you don't know, and you can check the um、uh, pinging on page fifteen. But I hope you guys did your pre preview. Uh, not fifteen. Let me see. The pinging is on page thirteen. Sorry. On page thirteen, so you can, <clears throat> uh, uh, find find out the pingy, and then later when we finish, um, we'll learn new words. Then, you know, uh, analysis the sentence one by one. And so let's do it. 课文三，在楼门口送朋友。Text three, parting at the exit of the building. 雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事，我出去叫辆出租车就行了。那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等吧，我拿了伞就下来。生词 ，new words， 亮，楼，拿。把伞。Okay, let's listen to it one more time. 课文三，在楼门口送朋友。Text three, parting at the exit of the building.
，雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事，我出去叫辆出租车就行了。那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等吧，我拿了伞就下来。生词 ，new words， 量，楼，拿，把，伞。Right, let, let's look at the new words. <clears throat> so you will find gradually we have more and more measure words showing up. Okay, so this one, 量，量。So、um, the left part. It it's the vehicle radical. <laughs> you say if you say car here, it's the same thing. It's just change the last stroke from horizontal stroke to upwards stroke. So liang is literally uh, means uh, measure word for vehicles. 一辆车，两辆车，三辆车 Okay, liang. Uh, twelve 楼 We already saw this one in warm up. Low means building, where you can say 楼房 where you can say 大楼 you can say 高楼 tall buildings. Okay, so normally if you go to Beijing, you will see a lot of um, you know the 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 writing buildings like the building the office buildings. Then they will call blah blah the name. Then plus 大楼 blah blah 大楼什么什么大楼 And thirteen, 拿 this is a verb. This is a very important word verb. Uh, it, did you say the <laughs> the hand radical is here? It means it has something to do with the. Uh, it is some activity it has something to do with hand. So 拿 will be to take, to fetch, to grab. Okay, okay. Uh, 十四把把 and the explanation says that the measure. This is a measure word used for things with a handle, and this is not quite ac accurate. It's not accurate. It's supposed to be anything for any object that you can hold by one hand. Okay, for example, if you can hold a chair by one hand, and you just say, 一把椅子一把椅子 ，so that's quite simple if you can do it. And the obviously the the chair don't always have a handle, right? 一把椅子，一把伞 ，cause 把 literally means one handful, one handful. So useful things can be picked up by one hand or with a handle. That's true as well. And number fifteen, 伞 umbrella, umbrella. Okay, so let's read the new words one more time. 亮楼拿把伞 All right, let's look, jump into the text and look at those sentences. 小刚说，雨下的真大。Or you can say, 雨下的好大呀 So, uh, heavy, 大 Um,、uh, when when 大 describe the the rain, it means heavy. Oh, it pours dogs and cats. 雨下的真大你怎么回去 How did you go back? Go back to where you come from. Go back. Or you can say, 你怎么回家你怎么回家 Or 你怎么回 If you're coming from a hotel, 你怎么回宾馆 Okay, 你怎么回学校 Whatever the place you come from, 我送你吧我送你吧 So let me walk you back. Maybe let me take you back. 我送你吧 And then 小丽 says, 没事儿没事儿 In northern part, there will be 没事儿 In the south, will be 没事嗯 It depends. Depends where you go. 我出去叫辆出租车就行了。Normally, if there's 叫辆叫 ，let me 呃、uh, ，sorry，let me do it in order. 我 subject I 
出去 get out. Okay, when I go out, 叫叫 means to call, call something. Um, so I, let me call a text. Text. So even you're standing on the street waving your hand to stop one taxi, it's still called a call one taxi. Uh, or you can say 打车打车打 literally means to hit. Or 打电话 but 打 has multiple meanings. So you can say 我打车 which means you know take a taxi. And you say, 他呃、uh, 他说我出去叫辆。Uh, if there's only one, the measure word, be, the number before the measure word is one, you can just um abbreviate it to no one. Just just 叫辆 is short for 叫一辆 Okay, 叫辆出租车 taxis taxis 出租车就行了 So first action, 我出去叫辆出租车就 In that way, 行了 will be okay. Okay, so it's okay, no big deal. I'll just go get out and call a taxi, get a taxi. And then 小刚说，嗯，那你等等。那 remember 那 based on the previous sentence, we gave a conclusion or a suggestion or demand. Okay, so in that case, 那你等等 So Wait here, ah,、uh, 你等一等。我上楼去给你拿把伞。我 subject one 上楼去 verb one 给你拿把伞 verb two. Okay, 上楼去给你拿把伞。So 上楼拿伞。嗯、um,。Which means the the second action happened right after the first action, and then Xiao Li says, "Good, good, um, thank you, good. I agree with you. I'll go up with you. So let me go up with you. I'll 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 go up with you. Together, 一起上去吧 Go upstairs, 上去吧 Because we're we're together yet. We're we're not 上来 We're not saying 上来 because the speakers is right by my side, and we're going upstairs because now we're downstairs to right about to leave. 小刚 says, 你在这儿 You 在 located at 这儿 a location here. Plus activity, 等吧 So you at here waiting. You located here waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. So 你在这儿等吧我拿了伞 Verb one. Once I get the umbrella, 就下来 Then I'll come down. As soon as I get the umbrella, I will come down. Okay. So there's no new grammar point in this um in this text, and it's all combined the previous grammars in this conversation.、Uh, I'll pause, uh, still the same thing. I'll pause from sentence to sentence, and then you will、um, repeat. Okay. 课文三，在楼门口送朋友。Text three. Parting at the exit of the building. 雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事，我出去叫辆出租。Parting at the exit of the building. Too fast. 雨下的真大，你怎么回去？ Your turn. 我送你吧。They speak really fast in in HSK three, so try your best to get used to that. Okay. 没事，我出去叫辆出租车就行了。我出去叫辆出租车就行了。Okay. Normally, you pause right before 就 because 就 which has a、uh, the second sentence or the second ver- verb, second action. So you better stop there. Sometimes they will have. 
um, another subject. Remember? That you, 等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。Too fast. 那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等吧，我拿了伞就下来。Okay, the last sentence. 你在这儿等吧，我拿了伞就下来。I'm going to play wait, 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 wait. new words. I'm going to play the whole text one more time, and this time, please close your eyes and try to remember what happened, the scenario. You know what we're saying they are at, what kind of conversation they will have if it's heavily raining, and try if you can understand what they are talking about. 课文三。在楼门口送朋友。Text three, parting at the exit of the building. 雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事，我出去叫辆出租车就行了。那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等吧。我拿了伞就下来。生词 ，new words， 亮，楼，拿，把，伞。OK，OK，、okay. okay, so here's the last paragraph, last text. Uh, same as the previous one, we're gonna do listen twice, and then we analysis sentence by sentence. Okay. So. 课文四，在家。Text four, at home. 你看我这么胖，怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉。也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦。你做什么运动了？做饭呢。生词 ，new words， 胖，其实，瘦。OK， 再听一遍，再听一遍。课文四，在家。Text four, at home. 你看我这么胖，怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦。你做什么运动了？做饭呢。生词 ，new words， 胖，其实，瘦。Okay, so let's look at the new words first. Uh, sixteen, 十六，胖，胖 literally means fat, but not like um extremely fat, just regular fat. Uh, then 十七，呃 ，seventeen。其实 this actually you can use it at the beginning of the sentence and or or because it's a a adverb or before the 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 verb after the subject both okay、uh, actually to be honest in fact you know it has all the meanings and eighteen show show means thing and Chinese people think. Um, thing is beautiful, so a popular opinion is the thinner the better, especially for girls. And so you will say girls were trying to lose weight every day, or they always always mention they feel 
they feel fat. But uh, uh, recent years, uh, people started to exercise. Not not recent years. Like this is getting really popular, to become fit than just thin. Uh, so if you go to big cities, you will see more and more people spending time, especially young young people, spending time in the gym, or uh, exercise. Uh, and old people, older people pre uh, prefer to exercise in the park, and we like to do the morning exercise, and after dinner we would like to take a long walk. We're doing the <laughs> square dance. What is square dance? You will see a bunch of forty forty to sixty years old women was dancing with the music on the on、uh, whatever place they can find. Normally will be square, so we call them Guangchang. Guangchang means square. Uh, Guangchang uh, square dance. Uh, that's a popular way re、uh, currently to, to you know, get more exercise. All right, so let's look at the the text. This is a fun fact. <laughs> you go to China, you will explore a lot. That's interesting. Number four, at home, 在家。周太太说，你看 ，look. All right, you say, it's just a a. Oral way to express, uh, to get other people's attention. 我这么胖 I'm so fat. 这么那么 remember, uh, 这么 like I'm this fat. 那么 I'm that fat. Well, if you say 那么 you normally refer a person who is a little bit far from you, and if you refer to the people near you, you just say 这么 Ah, you're so fat because this person is right in front of you. How do I do? Ah, what should I do about it? How do I do? Look, I'm so fat. How do I do? You normally use "how do I do" after you pop up a question or、uh, a concern. Ah, work so much, how do I do? So many homeworks.、So、what should I do? Zhou Ming. <coughs> Then Zhou Ming says, "You 每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉 OK, you subject 每天晚上 time as a verb. 吃了饭就睡觉吃了饭 verb one 就 as soon as 睡觉 verb two. So right after you finish your lunch or dinner, sorry, finish your dinner, you go straight to bed." You go back. You go to bed. So every night after you had dinner, you go straight to sleep. 也不出去走走 You're also not going outside and going out. 出去 Do what? What kind of activity? 走走 Take a walk. Walk a little bit. You can also say 也不出去走一下 or 也不出去走一会儿 Or 也不出去走一走 okay? It it both means the、um, repeating, uh, action or short period of time action. 能不胖吗？嗯、uh, ，能。We're gonna explain this uh in the next page. So here, they use a sentence structure. This is called the. Uh, rhetoric, rhetoric. Uh, a question, which means when when it says 能不胖吗 it actually means yeah, you're fat. A little bit cruel, but yeah. It has it contains a meaning like I think this is the natural result. It this is the consequences because of the previous sentence activity. 能不胖吗 So you're you're eating you eating、uh, you go to sleep right as soon as you finish the dinner and you're not not going outside to take a walk. So how how come you won't be fat? Okay, you will definitely be fat. And then Zhou Taitai says, "Um, so people in China is not quite、uh, offended 
by calling them fat. Sometimes they call themselves fat, so it's not very、um, big offensive thing to say a girl is fat, but still, do not say them say that in front of a sensitive person's face, especially when you don't know that person. Then Joe Tata says, "Actually, to be honest, I 每天都运动，每天都都 every day." Doing something, 我每天都运动 exercise. 我每 well, I'm actually actually I'm exercise every day. Then Zhou Ming replied, 但是 but my 你一点儿也没瘦 Remember this structure we learned from lesson th-、uh, lesson one. 一点儿 plus 也 plus 没 or 不 plus adjective means Not at all. Not at all. Not at all about the the whatever the adjective is. So, 但是你一点儿也没瘦 which means you're not、uh, getting thin at all. That's me. Oh my gosh! But you didn't. You're not getting、uh, thin at all. 你一点儿也没瘦没瘦 didn't 瘦瘦 can also be A、verb in this in this sentence. 但是你一点儿也没瘦。你做什么运动了？做什么运动 ？Do what activity? So what kind of exercise? What kind of workout you been you been doing? 你做什么运动了？嗯、uh, ，instead of saying 运动，呃，健身，健身 is more popular in China because it means workout. That's a new word emerged recently, recent years. Joe Tata says, 做饭啊 So I think this is a joke. I mean, cooking, cooking meals.、Mm, you you don't actually consider that a workout, right? Okay. So let's、um, listen to it one more time. Oh, before that, the, I'll explain the、uh, rhetoric question. So the rhetoric question, this structure, 能怎么怎么吗？能什么什么吗 ？This structure is used in a rhetorical question in Chinese. So when it the form is positive, it actually means the negative meaning, and the, if it's the negative form, it actually means the positive. Let's say some examples. Alright, first one. 你不学习考试能考好吗 ？So 能考好吗 ？It's a positive one. 能考好吗 ？Which means you 考不好 ，right? So the uh it contains a slight uh blame, but not that serious. You know, uh it's kind of like hey, of course you because you don't you don't study, of course you couldn't get a good grade for your for your exam. So 不能考好。The actual meaning is, 你不学习考试不能考好 Second one, 你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，能不胖吗 ？So that's the、uh, example of the text. So you eat, you sleep right after you finish dinner. 能不胖吗 ？See, this is a negative form.、Uh, it actually means yes, you will be fat. Okay, you will be pumped. 能不胖吗 ？Which which is, uh, change it to non-rhetorical question. It will be: 你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，会胖的啊？能 ？You will be fat. 你会胖的。Last one: 你不爱吃饭，那能不饿吗？那，嗯。Remember, we learned that it's kind of like so in English. So you know the result. Na is used to、uh, give a conclusion or give a solution based on the previous situation. So the previous situation is, 你不爱吃饭 you don't love to eat, you don't like eating. 那能不饿吗 So how come you won't be hungry? You will definitely be hungry. 那能不饿吗 So that's the Uh, it's more like the 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 
the tones you said about it, you saying about it. 能怎么怎么样嘛？能什么什么什么？ Of course you will. It has this slight meaning in there. Of course you will be like what? Okay. So this is the natural result of the previous、uh, reason. 好了 let's look at some、uh, exercise. Practice, 练一练 Number one, 第一个 A says, 我怎么这么累呀、啊、？How come I'm so tired? B says, 你今天爬山爬的那么快。What's the natural result of this? You 爬山，你 today 今天爬山 climb the mountain 爬的那么快。Climb so fast, that fast. Of course, you will be tired. How come you won't be tired? 能不累吗 All right. So 能不累吗 means you will be tired. Of course, you are tired. That's a natural result. Let's look at the next, second one. 第二个，我病了，头疼。I'm sick. I have a headache. B says. 天气这么冷，你穿的这么少，嗯 ，Of course you will be sick. 能不病吗 ？You will be sick because it's cold and you didn't wear too much. 天气这么冷，你穿的这么少，能不病吗 ？Number three. A says, 他怎么打篮球打的这么好？ How come he played basketball? Played so well. And B says, 他每天都练习，练习 practice. It's like this. 他每天都练习。So the natural result of、uh, practice every day will be, of course, he will be good at playing basketball. So, 能不好吗？能不好吗 ？Normally, the, after this sentence, we'll say, "If you do something, 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 you will be like the like the same. You will have the same result." Normally, it will follow this sentence. 他每天都练习，能不好吗？你每天都练习也会打得好。Okay, you will also play it so well. All right. After this, let's go back. And to text four, let's listen to this twice again. And first time, I will pause sentence by sentence, and you need to repeat after that. And after the first time, the second time,、uh, I hope you guys can close your eyes, focus on listening, and try to understand every sentence. Let's do it. 课文四，在家。Text four, at home. 你看我这么胖，怎么办呢？ And Jomi says, 你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，也不出去走走，能不胖吗？请，你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉。也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦。但是你一点儿也没瘦。哇、wow, ，That's harsh。你做什么运动了？ Oops, my bad. 做饭啊 That's the last sentence. 做饭啊 All right. Let's listen to it one more time. Try to close your eyes and see if you can catch every word. 课文四
在家。Text four, at home. 你看我这么胖，怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦。你做什么运动了？做饭呢？生词。New words. 胖，其实，瘦。呃、uh, ，here I have a. 嗯 ，here it says 做饭呢，做饭呢。Instead of saying 做饭啊，嗯、uh, ，because 饭 the last. Letter of the pinyin, which is n, remember? So this is f a n, and then a. It's a vowel. So when when these two linked together, it will naturally link the pronunciation. Just like in French, you will link, um,、uh, link the um、uh, one initial with a vowel. Okay. So instead of saying 做饭啊 you will say 做饭呐，好吗？ Uh, let's look at some exercise. Not this one. Not this one. This is for the rhetoric question.、Uh, <clears throat> so we have a couple of words. This is also on page on your book, page sixteen. If you have a book, you can look at your either look at your book or look at the screen. Up to you. Alright, the first sentence. 这是你的什么吗？真大。So it will be definitely a noun here, but we have three nouns in the options. We have low building. We have 办公室 office. We have 树 trade. It all makes sense if you put them here. It is this. 这是你的楼吗？真大。You have a big building. 这是你的办公室吗？真大。You have a big office. 这是你的树吗？真大。You have a big tree. They all make sense. So, well, if you're not sure, let's continue look. 今天的考试 ，today's test， 一点儿也不 blah blah。什么？一点儿也不难，一点儿也不难 ，which means 很容易。很容易 ，it's easy. 好 ，and let's look at the next one. 第三个，我在五零五教室上课。I'm having class at five o five classroom. 我现在要上什么去 ？Now I'm going up to where? Well, 我要上办公室。Not true because I'm having class in 教室。And this, 这个教室 and if you're using tray, you go up to the tray. It doesn't make any sense. So here you're supposed to say, 我要 go upstairs. 我要上楼去，我要上楼去 Let's continue. Number four, 你看 look, see, 小狗在什么什么下做什么呢？ The little dog is doing what? Under what? Under only can be tray. Okay. 小狗在树下做什么呢 ？So now you know the first answer, which is office. 这是你的办公室吗？真大。嗯。Last one. The answer is obvious. 我太什么 ？Adjective 了。不能吃那么多饭。I can't eat that much food. Or you can ask it in the、uh, rhetorical tone, like, 我太胖了，能吃那么多饭吗 All right, you're asking other people. If the other people was trying to treat you better,、uh, offer you a lot of food, and you can ask, 我太胖了，能吃那么多饭吗 How can I eat so much? Of course, I cannot eat so many. Right, but. Only use this with your friends, cause re uh rhetorical, uh tone is a little bit you know casual. It's not good using in a formal 
uh, occasion, especially now using it with people older than you will have high, higher so social status than you. Okay, only use the between friends or people or people you're familiar. So the last answer, which is pa. Now let's continue to say this. And these five new words, 量, 腿, 把, 经理, 其实, 量 means measure word for vehicles. 腿 means leg. How do you say fit again? Fit, foot. Correct, it's 脚. Then 把, measure word for things have a handle or things you can pick up by one hand. 经理, manager. Remember this. This is useful. 其实, actually, to be honest. Let's check the sentences. Number six. A says, 你真爱看书,买了这么多. You really love reading books. You buy this much. You bought this much. B says, 什么什么,我一点也不喜欢看书. I don't like reading at all. 这是给我弟弟买的. To be honest, I don't like to read at all. All of this is buying for my younger brother. So the answer is, 其实, 其实. Normally, if you say a blank in the beginning of the sentence, you already can guess it's an adverb. Number seven. 我想买这什么什么车。B says, 太贵了,你有那么多钱吗? It says, I want to buy this car. B says, it's too expensive. Do you have that much money? So measure word for car, vehicle, which is 量, 量. Or if you buy in the, like the regular car, we're driving you know, to go to work, come back home, uh, we can also use this measure word, 台. Tai literally means a platform, platform. And so normally car will uh, park it in a platform, right? No matter it's a straight or garage. And so in that way, uh, the bottom of it is a flat. It's a platform. So you will call it, use Tai for measure word for, for vehicle as well. Okay, but if it's a truck, you don't use Tai. Tai is only used for the small car. Mm. 好,第八个 mm, It says 下雨了,我没带伞,怎么办? 下雨了, it's raining Which 下雨了 means Earlier it didn't rain But now the statement changed It's raining now 下雨了,我没带伞 I didn't bring an umbrella 怎么办? What should I do? B says 去商店买一把把把 the last ba this ba it's uh you know just to put at the end of the sentence to to give suggestions okay 买一把吧 alright what what you can do otherwise number nine 昨天走路走的太多了 Yesterday I walk walked too much. 走路走的太多了。左边这条什么有点疼? B says, 那你今天别出去了. So if the if the in that way, just don't go outside today. He says, I walk too much. That definitely will be my left leg hurting. 左边这条 腿,条 uh, literally means long, soft strap, long, soft strap. So 腿 is kind of like very long, right? Can, 腿 is long, so you use the 条 as 腿, it's a matter of word. 一条腿,两条腿. Uh, people always complain, if, especially people getting age, uh, they will say, ah, 我这两条腿疼. Ah, man, these two legs hurt, hurtful, painful. Okay, B, 那你今天别出去了, so don't go outside, 出去. 
the 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 complement of direction. Last one. A says, 什么什么，我今天想早一点回家，可以吗 ？B says, 今天不行，今天有很多工作要做。So not today. 今天不行。Today has a lot of work to do. Today we have a lot of work to do. The previous sentence when A says it is, 我今天 today I 想 want to would like to 早一点 go 回家。Go home earlier, 可以吗 Is that okay? I want to go home earlier. Is that okay? B says, 今天不行，今天有很多工作要做。So B, obviously, is a boss, which is 经理 quite, uh, fit that role. 经理，我今天想早一点回家，可以吗 ？B says, 今天不行，今天有很多工作要做。嗯、um, ，If it's your boss, you call them. 老板，老板，嗯、mm? ，or if it's the head of your department, you call them 头 which literally means the head, the body part's head plus 儿，头，头。It depends. It, um, depends on what kind of situation you worked in. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's uh jump to next part. We're gonna make some new words. Word game. <clears throat> you know how Chinese composed their words, right? So, 办公室 plus 大楼 Uh, you can get a new word, which is 办公楼 Um, it means office building. Office building. So the whole building is full of business. All right. The second one, 外边 plus 出去 And you can make a new word, which is, which is 外出。外出，呃、uh, ，sometimes you will say, 啊、uh, ，他有事。He has something. He has some business. 有事外出了，呃、uh, ，下午才回来。So in he has some business to go go outside, but I, you know, I don't have to tell you the details. And 他下午回来 ，He will be back in the afternoon. 他有事外出，下午回来。All right, then 中午 plus 睡觉 which is, uh, can can make a new word, which is 午觉午觉 is the nap in the middle of the day, same as France, and when people in China we have two hours or two and a half in summer, uh, in the middle of the day, to take a break, Uh, unlike French people, you will probably talking, chatting during lunch. Chinese people will find a place to take a nap. Normally, it will be from fifteen minutes to forty-five minutes. It depends. When I was in in school as a student, you know everybody has to um, take a nap. If you're in elementary school or in in、uh, kindergarten, then you're forced to take a nap. So, 午睡 is a great habit that Chinese people, uh, use. It's just different habit custom. So, uh, next time if you say any new words, you might can combine them with with different, uh, vocabularies or different characters you have already know, and、uh, and then don't use it till you've looked up in the dictionary. Sometimes the meaning. Um, is the meaning you're guessing? Sometimes the meaning is completely different. It's fun. Just do it. Give it a try if you have time. All right. Let's do a little bit review of today's lesson, shall we? Uh, <clears throat> indicate the action direction. We use a v plus verb plus 来 or 去 For example, 上来下来上去下去来 is toward the speakers. Chu is go away from the speakers. If you have a location, we're gonna use verb plus place plus 来 or chu. For example, 他上楼来，我下楼去。他进教室来，我出门去。I get out of the door. She comes into the classroom. 好吗 ？All right. The next one. If there's a o, you either can put o in front of 来 or put it after 来 or 去 
both correct. 他上楼，呃，他带来书了，他带书来了。They both correct. Same thing. All right, then. Verb one, blah blah. Then verb two. As soon as I finish the verb one, I will do verb two. So, f- um, best example.、Uh, after eating, I go to sleep. 吃了饭就睡觉。写完作业就回家。下了课就喝咖啡。Okay, the as soon as he finished. You do something else. If there's a two subject, and you're supposed to put the second subject in front of you. If the first person did something, and then if the first person finished something, and then the second person will do another je- action. For example, um, you 下了课你 subject one 下了课 verb one plus a Object. Uh, we us subject two. 就吃饭 So once you finish the class, we will start eating. 我们就吃饭 This is the uh uh two continued actions. Uh, if there's two subjects, how you do the sentence? The last one structure is non blah 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 but ma non blah 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 ma. Uh, which uh, means, of course, it will lead to something. But you're in a, asking a question. You're in a rhetorical question way to ask this. Um, 能不胖吗 All right. So if you say negative form, you're using negative form. You actually refers to the positive meaning. If you're using 能，呃，能好吗 So you don't study at all. 能好吗 Your Chinese 能好吗 You don't study, so your Chinese won't be good. So, uh, in that way, it will be, uh, will means 能好吗 Actually, means 不能好 It won't be good. All right. Okay. So this is all lesson two. 他什么时候回来 And we finish. We complete this lesson. And thank you for joining today's class. Uh, homework will be published on Moodle.、Um, I will、uh, also upload the workbook for you guys、uh, to either copy or write the answer on. Also, the audios for you guys to listen. 好吗 So,、um, that's it. That's all. Thank you. 谢谢再见